Nottingham baseball wins a thriller in Tuesday action, their second straight victory over the West Windsor Plainsboro schools. Yet on the lacrosse field, that team seemed to have bigger fish to fry Tuesday. I'm Mark Fontes with sports. In softball, West Windsor South rebounded from Monday's loss to Robbinsville by beating Nottingham 8-5. Just steps from there, though, on the North Star baseball field, Nottingham had the bases loaded with two outs and the count getting full on designated hitter John Berlaga. Berlaga sends this straight up the middle. Shortstop Ben Ruta of the Pirates trying to make some play, cannot. One run comes in. Luke Westerberg rounding third, heads home. The throw, it goes to the backstop. Westerberg just to make sure reaches over and touches the plate. And the Nottingham North Stars with a come from behind win as well as an 11th hour reprieve Tuesday. Something tells me it is going to be an exciting season for all three Hamilton baseball squads. Elsewhere at Nottingham, the weather was perfect Tuesday for some boys lacrosse and a battle that never fails to please. Whenever the Steinert Spartans clash with the North Stars, regardless of the sport, there is a lot at stake besides just the final score. Now, while lacrosse sticks are not meant for sparring, there was some of that in this latest chapter of the saga for Clockner Road bragging rights. Steinert lacrosse swept Nottingham a year ago. The two meeting in their 2012 season opener with a fair amount of fans coming out, one of whom was this cute little guy, had the best seat in the house, in the arms of a caretaker. Second quarter, Steinert already ahead. Dylan Kelly to Kyle Deveni. Deveni shoots, and he scores. The senior midfielder had a banner day as he gets props from teammates. The score, if you can see it there on the table, 4-2 Spartans. Paul Klein, or K-Line, hustling downfield, outrunning Nottingham's Will Kriegner. Klein connects with Deveni, who creases the net yet again. Number seven had a hat trick before halftime. Those two sure look enthused about it. Steinert up 5-2 at the half. Early third quarter, Spartans again on the attack. This play whistled dead due to a penalty, but it would have been a save for North Star goalie Kyle Ballschneider, who had 15 of those. Moments later, Kriegner finding some room, and he tacks on a goal for Nottingham. Kriegner, one of three different stars to score on this Tuesday. The sparse hometown crowd making some noise about it. Later, Matt Chanice with it for Steinert. Taken down from behind by Stuart Hasty. You know about the rivalry between these two groups. Chanice had words. Nottingham's Abdul Abu Hud nearly went after Chanice. Teammates had to break this up. No one really amused by it. Deveni, who helped play Peacemaker, was rewarded with more scoring opportunities. He finished the day with five goals. When you're well over six feet tall and can thrust the ball in over people, you will score often. Whee! Go, go, go! Nottingham trying to salvage something. Tristan Del Horn shoots. It is saved by Matt Parmigiani, who also played offensive line for the football Spartans. Parm tallied 11 saves. Fourth quarter, Dan Perry shoots. Ball Schneider on point there. That does count as a save. No whistle. Tyler Gulsby with the ball. He takes a shot and he pokes it on in. Gulsby helping to put this one out of reach in the final period of play as the sideline applauds. North Stars Anthony Frunder playing with a lot of heart. Parm! He didn't allow anything in the final quarter. Head coach Corey Seawick, a very happy man about his team's performance all day. Aside from Deveni and Gulsby, Nolan Kopak also creased to the net right there. Your final Tuesday, 8-3 Steiner over Nottingham until they meet again or do battle in another sport. The Spartans own the bragging rights on Klockner. It's a great way to start the season, so we just got to take the good things and keep working with them. And uh, there's always room for improvement. We started shooting the ball. We worked the ball around good. Our defense came together. Uh, eliminated their shooting opportunities, so that's all you got to really do. And all you got to really do is remember these highlights of CVC lacrosse action brought to you by the Hamilton Township Education Association, members working to ensure your child's future success. And finally, Team of the Day is brought to you by Prior Nanny Business Systems, an authorized Canon Sales and Service Center, your business solutions headquarters, Prior Nanny. Notre Dame baseball and softball also took intertownship bragging rights Tuesday. Baseball came from behind to beat the Lawrence High Cardinals 2-1, to one, while in softball, the Irish walloped the ladies in red 9-1. to one. Six runs in the top of the fourth inning for the softball ladies broke their game wide open. Therefore, Irish baseball and softball are both off to a strong start on the year. That's sports on this Wednesday. In a moment on Mercer County close-up, meet the mother of a murder victim who, rather than be bitter all these years, recently wrote a very special song about Trayvon Martin. She stops by to sing part of it next.